Hey Faith folk, welcome and welcome back. So for today's video we're going to be doing another Disney doll ranking and taking a look at all of the Cinderella limited edition dolls. I am pretty excited for this one just because I do kind of think, not to like spoil everything in the first 30 seconds here, but I do kind of think this might be similar to Snow White. If you saw the video that I just did for Snow White's ranking, I don't like Snow White. She's my least favorite Disney princess. I'm not particularly fond of Cinderella either, but I loved a lot of Snow White's dolls and just in the process of preparing for this video, I did see a lot of Cinderella designs that were really really solid so like I'm pretty hyped today I think it's going to be a relatively positive ranking but like you know sometimes I actually get to looking at them and I change my mind so maybe I shouldn't be jinxing myself so early <laughs> in any case though that is what we are going to be doing today as with all of my other rankings and all of my other videos in general everything I say today is just going to be my opinion if I hate it all that you love it's not personal obviously vice versa is not personal either and you are absolutely free to disagree with me as long as you can you know be kind and respectful about it um but yeah let's go ahead and just jump on into the ranking so as per usual with my rankings, I am using Procreate, and then we have the same just kind of more boring tiers that I've been using for the Disney rankings. So we've got perfect, good, okay, I feel nothing, no thanks, and put it back. We're going to be starting off with the 2012 Cinderella collector doll, and I already have to like complain, <laughs> but more so this is like a, I, I guess a disclaimer. I have a beef with part of Cinderella's design just kind of inherently. Actually, now that I say that, there's two things I need to get out of the way. But I do just like have to say this because it's not about the doll. It's just about the design. So the first thing is I need to change to a better color here. This like black choker. I know she has a black choker in the movie, but it really bothers me <laughs> just because I feel like it's so much darker than the rest of her design. Even like her makeup is typically not super, super dark. So it just feels very unbalanced and very prominent and very odd so if i complain about the black choker i know it's accurate i just don't think it looks good because there's no black anywhere else in her design and it irritates me <laughs> so that's thing number one thing number two is that in the original cinderella movie her dress is definitely more white or like silver or gray sort of color definitely not so blue i'm not like offended by the blue i understand that disney did it to like make her look less like she was wearing a wedding dress in everything <laughs> but like also sometimes it is nice to see that silvery color so we might touch on that a little bit I have a lot less strong feelings about that than I do with the black choker but I just thought you know giving you guys some context would be nice so now we can start looking at the actual doll here <laughs> and I don't think that this is terrible I really do like the way that they have done her hair her headband and then added on like some extra little decorations for her headpiece I think that that looks really really cute I just feel like in the original animation her hair is not super super detailed but the way that they've executed it here with the different curls and stuff I think looks really really cute very sweet design no problems with her face the choker is the choker I kind of inherently wish it wasn't there but it is what it is I actually really, really do love how they've done the rhinestones on this dress. I think they've executed it quite well. If you've seen some of the previous videos I've done, I've complained a lot about rhinestones when it comes to the Disney princesses, which is shocking because I'm someone who loves glitter and shine in any capacity. <laughs> um, and we even are going to talk about it again later this video, I think. But for this one, I think they did a really good job. I love how like clustered and focused the rhinestones are at her bodice and then the way that they just gradually trail off towards the bottom of the skirt like the gradient is very like slow it's very subtle it's very well blended I guess is a good way to put it I think it looks really nice and I do like the sparkle that it adds here the fact that we also have it on her gloves where it's like very concentrated up towards her like bicep and then a lot less concentrated towards her wrist I think is super pretty I like how it mimics the flow on the dress I just feel like it ties it in really really cutely the dress itself is relatively basic like there's not if you take away the rhinestones, there's not a whole lot going on, right? <laughs> but I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. My only complaint, and I I said this so much with the bell ranking, it's definitely less of a problem on Cinderella, but still kind of a problem that we see here is that I feel like her dress, the silhouette should be poof and then extra poof or just poof, right? Like she has a very large dress. And so the fact that instead the silhouette is this big poof and then like a gentle like a line. I don't know. I just, I think that it's not a great silhouette. I don't like how it like poofs out specifically more at the hips. I understand that it takes a lot to get a dress to look that full. There's usually a lot of layers involved in like a proper ball gown look. You've got petticoats and stuff. So I can understand them wanting to go a little bit more a line if, you know, all the other stuff isn't necessarily in the budget, but just the way that they execute the poofs at her hip, I feel like makes it look very awkward. 
Um, that being said, I feel like that was a minute of being quite mean. <laughs> I overall think that the dress is quite pretty. I feel like, again, the rhinestones are just eye-catching in a really positive way this time, which is not how I usually feel about the rhinestones on these dresses. And the hair is super sweet. I can't put her into perfect, but she is still going to go into good because I feel like that's a pretty solid doll right there. This one though, oh my god, I'm so excited to even <laughs> like click on this layer. <laughs> this is the Saks Fifth Avenue Cinderella doll, and she is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. She obviously still has the black choker, but it is more minimal, so I really like that. I will say the hair I don't think is quite as cute as that first one that we looked at. It's not bad. Like there's nothing offensive about it. I just liked the other one better. But this dress. <laughs> Oh my god, this dress is incredible. I love it so much. I don't even know where to start. Okay. So you can see right off the bat what I meant about the pieces at her hips just flow very naturally into the rest of the dress because there's so much volume in this ball gown. It is so, so beautiful. So I do think that that just makes for a better silhouette, a more dramatic silhouette. And I also love the color that they've chosen here. I mean, I'm gonna, I'll just like color pick the other colors. So you can see that first one we took a look at was a lot more blue, whereas this one is like much more silvery in comparison. And I really like it because I feel like it has just enough of the blue to be red as like Cinderella, the way Disney wants you to think of Cinderella. Like they want her to be the blue character, but it also is slightly more accurate to the movie because it's not intense. Like it's more of a desaturated, very, very light blue. And I just, it's so pretty. Like this is such a beautiful blue to choose for Cinderella. I also do adore all of the rhinestones and all of the embroidery that we get along her skirt. It is just so beautiful. Some of it is kind of faint, especially in like this lighting, like the embroidery isn't a color that pops off super well against the backdrop, but I really like that because I feel like you get a little closer and you see all the intricate details and it's like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. The bodice is maybe a little bit less exciting. I like the rhinestoning slightly less, but I do like how they've done her neckline. I need to get a better color for contrast here. That was, oh my god, <laughs> I picked the wrong one again. There we go. I just feel like that's a really nice shape, like the almost off the shoulder, but it's like kind of at her shoulder. It looks really, really beautiful. This dress is stunning. The doll underneath, maybe slightly less so for me, but there's no way I could rank this anything other than perfect because my god, what a doll. Next up, we have the 70th anniversary. So this is clearly Cinderella in her more casual attire <laughs> that like she kind of wore before the ball gown and everything, like before the dance with the prince and all that jazz. And I do think this is still cute. I will say I'm never going to like something like this as much as I will like the ball gowns, just because when I think princess, I want the ball gown, right? Like I do like dolls that have this kind of vibe, especially Cinderella's kind of inherently got a lot of cottagecore vibes going on. And I do think this is cute. And I think on another doll, I would actually really love this outfit. It's just that for Cinderella, again, when I think princess, I want the ball gown. I don't want the princess in her casual attire. That's just me. I'm always going to be more for the formal stuff. But again, I do think this is cute, especially the details that they've included in this doll, I think are really quite nice. I love her little like mouse pouch with Gus here and the fact that it's embroidered. I, that's really precious because it's like he's special. So he gets to have an embroidered little pouch. I think it's Gus, right? We're just going to go with that. And then also her sewing tools on her belt. I think that's really, really cute. The way she's wearing an apron to like, you know, signify that she's working and everything. I think this is really pretty. And I will say I, I like this better than some other comparable dolls that we've seen. Specifically, I'm thinking of like the Snow White one where she is in her like rags outfit. And again, I know that one's intentional. I know that it is supposed to be accurate to like the movie and like so the patches and holes and everything are supposed to make sense. I just feel like with Cinderella, they did a better job of giving her a very, very casual outfit, one that she uses to do housework and everything, but still making it look nice. I don't know. Maybe I'm just biased <laughs> because I do like Cinderella a little more than Snow White, but I just feel like this is a more appealing doll to me in general. I'm still only going to rank her in okay because again, when I think Cinderella... I want her in the big poofy dress. Like that's what I crave, but it's still a good doll. Like I, I really want to stress, I don't think this is a bad doll. It's just really not for me. Next up, we have Cinderella from a wedding set. This is really, really pretty. I actually like this so much. I never kept up with Cinderella, so I don't know if she had like a canonical wedding dress. Like, I don't know if in the other movies that they made about her, if there were any like shows or anything, she got like a canonical wedding dress. 
Um, so I can't speak to how accurate this may or may not be, but I can tell you, I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I really love, especially the skirt portion. I feel like this asymmetrical kind of line on the most outmost layer of the skirt is so nice and getting that little peekaboo of the blue is such a beautiful touch because it really makes it still feel like Cinderella while she's still in like this mostly white gown, which, you know, like is kind of the traditional color for <laughs> wedding dresses in America. I just think that's a really, really beautiful touch, even though like, again, I know the blue is not technically the most accurate. It is what Disney went with. And so I really like seeing that the blue touches and the embroidery around the hem are really lovely as well. And then we've got more kind of across her shoulder here. I just really do love this. I feel kind of silly saying this because I know there is a lot going on with this dress realistically with like the shapes and the embroidery and the rhinestones. But also I feel like there's a big section in the middle here. And then even her veil is like very plain, right? There's a lot of kind of empty space with this design, but I think it's used so well. Sometimes when you have a design and there's like nothing going on, it looks very intentional. And sometimes it looks like just boring. And I definitely don't think that this feels boring. I feel like it's just this beautiful balance between the details in the places where you get them. And then like the empty space to kind of let your eye rest and flow to the next set of details. I just genuinely think that this is impeccably designed, even to the point where like, I do personally like it. But even if I don't personally like it, I would be able to look at this and be like, that's a good design. Like that's a well executed design. I just, this is really solid. <laughs> so it's probably not surprising that it's going to go into perfect. Oh God, this one's so bad though. Okay. This is the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary doll. It was an anniversary for the parks, I believe, or for that specific park, not for Cinderella. And this is just so unbelievably lackluster to me. I don't know if there's like a correlation because I know there's different like colors that technically correlate to like certain anniversaries. I don't know if there's a correlation between 50 and gold and maybe that's why they went with this sort of champagne -y color, but I don't like it because in my brain, I'm like, okay, Cinderella is like blue silver. <laughs> so when she's in gold, it does just feel slightly more jarring to me. But even so, like that that's like the least of my complaints. The positive things I can say is I think the base doll is not exceptional, but still perfectly pretty. And I do really like that because she has the black choker, they've continued that down and kind of done more bands where she has a waistband that is black and then a black trim at the bottom of her dress, just because that does tie it together a little bit more and brings that black more throughout the outfit. And so it just feels a little bit more balanced. So that's a positive thing I can say. However, that's, that's basically it. I think the sequins on her bodice look unbelievably cheap. Like to me, they just don't read well. I feel like sequins, I've said this so many times, I feel like sequins are very hard to do on a doll scale because like it's one thing they fit kind of nicely on a human scale because they appear so tiny. So you're getting these itty bitty little flashes of light. But on a doll scale, even the smallest sequins like this, they just look kind of big. I don't know. It's just, it doesn't look right to me. At least I will say you can do it well. Like they can be done well but it doesn't look expensive. Like it doesn't look collector doll worthy, I guess is the best way for me to put it, at least the way they've executed it here. And then the skirt is easily my least favorite part. <laughs> I actually do like the top layer with this kind of uneven, almost like handkerchief hem tool. I think that's quite pretty. And I feel like on a different Cinderella doll, I might actually really like it. But underneath that, you've got embroidery and rhinestones to show the fireworks and then also her castle and you can't see it. <laughs> and it that's just so aggravating to me, especially for a doll that is supposed to be marking the anniversary of the park. It's like, you wouldn't want to make that a little bit more visible. Like even with the fact that they've tied in more black into her design, they could have done more black. They could have added a gradient to the skirt so that the bottom was a darker color so that the embroidery thread would like pop more on it since it's a very light colored embroidery thread. I just think it's absolutely silly to go through all the trouble of putting in the fireworks and Cinderella's castle that is so emblematic of this park and then have it be half hidden from view, especially because it is underneath the tool. Like I like the tool, I like the layering there, but I just feel like this is meant to be a very key component of the doll's design and it is not what my eye is drawn to first. And I just find that very disappointing from a design standpoint. I think I'm gonna put her in no thanks because there are a couple of nice things I had to say but she's on thin ice. <laughs> this is another rough one. This is the designer princess Cinderella. And if you've seen the other videos that I've done ranking different Disney princess dolls, 
you'll know that this line in general has been absolutely horrific to me. <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know why it was created, to be honest. I'm so sorry if you like these, but I think they are god awful. And Cinderella is no exception. In theory, I like kind of like her bag being the carriage, mostly because I think tiny things are cute, but also it isn't really giving bag. Like it's so carriage like that it doesn't read as a bag. So like I'm, I'm trying to make that the positive, but I'm having trouble. <laughs> <laughs> we have the rhinestones done poorly. Uh, this is kind of what I was alluding to earlier, where I just really don't think the gradation is nearly as good because it's very concentrated here. And then suddenly it's just like, mm, we'll throw a couple on there for the rest of the dress. So it doesn't look nice like that first one where it was this beautiful, slow gradient that made it feel like they were just naturally falling off. It, it feels very sudden and very jarring. And quite frankly, it feels like they didn't have the budget to bother adding a few more rhinestones in. I just think it looks gross. Um, there's this whole situation. <laughs> Her face isn't the worst, but like, what is up with that hair? I don't understand. I just, I'm just irritated. <laughs> Basically, I also don't really love the silhouette that they've gone with for this dress personally i do think it could work for a different doll like the huge it looks like a big bow in the back i do feel like that can be a fun design but it doesn't remind me of cinderella and it doesn't even feel like subverting expectations it just feels like a bad design maybe i'm just biased against this line as a whole maybe i'm being overly mean but I genuinely cannot stand this doll, so it's going to put it back. And the best part is that we're not even actually done because there was also a D23 version. So it's the same doll, but in silver. And like, yes, I appreciate that it's slightly more movie accurate, but everything that's wrong is still wrong. Like everything that I didn't like is still there. The hair looks slightly better from like this angle in this stock photo, but like, <laughs> there's still so much to complain about. She's going to go into, I almost said burn it. It's put it back. Put it back as the bottom tier. She's going down there as well. It's just, the silver didn't save her. This one though, this is a solid one. So this was from the fairy tale collection. Obviously comes with the prince, but we are focusing on Cinderella. I understand this is like a little bit of a weird photo to use because you're not really seeing the front of the dress, but trust me, the back of the dress is the important part. Like I had to use this picture because it's so so pretty. The hair is different than in the movie, but I actually think this looks so incredibly beautiful on Cinderella. Like these curls that she's got going on, I think just looks so elegant and put together and she just looks gorgeous. I love this little kind of train that they've added on to her dress. If I have to critique it, I will say that you can pretty clearly tell that the dress doesn't have that full ball gown effect that I really want but it's still nice. And the train is just so pretty. I love the alternating colors and the different fabrics that were chosen. The embroidery is really beautiful. This pale blue of like this sheer fabric that they've used for her little hip poofs. I don't know what those are called. I should probably be calling them something other than hip poofs, but here we are. But then also for her sleeves, I think is really pretty. I just think I like sheer stuff. Like I like sheer fabrics. I like clear plastic. I don't know why, but I do feel like specifically this one does give a very like dreamy floaty vibe and it just fits so excellently. Plus I think it's a beautiful contrast to the heavier fabric on the bottom of her dress. I just think it's beautiful. But this little back cut out, oh my God, that's what gets me. I don't know why. I Maybe it's just because I feel like a lot of dolls are obviously designed to mostly be seen from the front. Like most of the impressive design tends to be on the front of a doll. Not saying that no doll has ever had an interesting back of their outfit before, okay? I'm just saying in general, especially for people who like tend to collect in box, most of what you see is gonna be the front of the outfit. So that's where like a lot of the effort gets put in. But this is just so pretty. And I think it's because it's unexpected and it's not like what I thought I was gonna see for this doll that I like it so much. It's a really fun little touch there. The fact that it's lined with lace is really beautiful. I'm sure no one is surprised that this is going into perfect. This one though, this is another fairy tale one, this time with Lady Tremaine, but again, we're ignoring her. This is one that I will not be able to understand. <laughs> again, kind of referencing the Snow White Rags doll where I'm like, I know it's a reference. Like I know that this is a reference to a scene 
in the movie. I get it in that regard. Like I know what it is supposed to be, but I will never be able to understand wanting to spend so much money on a doll that intentionally looks bad. If you like this, if you like this style of doll, if you like when dolls do this, that is excellent. Like I'm not judging you in any way because it's absolutely harmless. And if it makes you happy, that is fabulous. But for me personally, I just, I cannot make my brain comprehend why. <laughs> so again, like there's absolutely no judgment there. It's just, I can't make myself understand it. So for me personally, I'm going to put this in, I feel nothing just because all I feel is confusion. And I, I feel like that's close enough. <laughs> It's just, yeah, I feel like that's the best tier because it's just not made for me in any capacity. Y'all, I'm so excited to get to click on this one. I gotta, I gotta rein myself in. Okay, so this is the premier Cinderella and holy shit, <laughs> this is an incredible doll. The only thing that I will say is her hairstyle does give her a slightly more mature vibe. Doesn't really bother me because I do feel like this is kind of just like Cinderella slightly more grown up. But I could see why maybe that would feel like less like Cinderella proper to some people. So I just wanted to mention it. But can we look at the dress? <laughs> oh my god, this is genuinely incredible. Like there's no other way for me to put it. I love that for this design, they leaned into the black that is normally found at her choker. She doesn't even have a black choker this time. She's got pearls, which I do think is like kind of subverting the expectations there. But they've leaned into the fact that she did have that hint of black and they've brought it throughout the rest of the dress. And it's genuinely incredible. The black just makes this very light blue pop so, so much. Just the contrast there is so striking and so wonderful. It feels beautifully balanced. There's no part where I'm like, oh, that's a lot of black versus like a lot of blue or whatever. It feels genuinely like a perfectly balanced design. Like I'm, I'm too hyped for this one. <laughs> I love that they went with a clear bag for her partially because again, I just love like clear accessories and stuff like that. But also it is reminiscent of her glass slippers. So I think that's a really cute way to have that design element be more visible. I don't know what the shoes look like on any of these dolls. <laughs> so I don't know if she actually has like clear shoes, but I really like the fact that this is something you can easily see and it feels Cinderella, but it's not like shaped like a shoe or anything. Like it's not too on the nose. I just think it's really, really beautiful. The embroidery around her waist and like hips is just so stunning. The black polka dot fabric, unexpected, but honestly high key, so pretty, especially because most of it is on the black underskirt. So you don't really see the polka dots that much. You just get like a hint of them around the edge here. And I think that is such a beautiful little touch there. Her black gloves are really pretty. And the top of this dress, it's just so interesting to me. It's so pretty. Y'all will have to let me know if any of you guys actually have this doll because I don't and I've never seen her in person. I'm assuming that this part of like her wrap is sewn into her waistband. It might just be tucked in, but it looks very secure and it looks like it would be sewn into me. And I love that idea. I feel like this silhouette it creates where it just wraps around her shoulder and then flows off loosely on one side is so interesting and so beautiful. It just, it looks elegant. Like it, it reeks of elegance. It's so just absolutely stunning to me. I'm kind of losing words because I'm not sure how to adequately describe this. I personally haven't seen anything like this. Obviously, I'm not, you know, the end all be all authority when it comes to fashion, but it's just something that I haven't seen before. And it does feel very striking in such a simplistic way. You know, like this isn't heavily embroidered. It's not decked out in the best rhinestones ever. It just is fabric manipulation and it's done so beautifully. So another one that I'm sure you guys will not be surprised <laughs> is popping into perfect. Then we have the Midnight Masquerade Cinderella, which is kind of giving me similar vibes to the last one because it is a similar color palette, only instead of black, we have this navy blue. But I sadly do think that this one is just not as well executed. I do like the main dress. I think that that's totally fine. It's got almost pleating, which I feel like is quite pretty. It's not necessarily what I think of for Cinderella, but it looks good on her, especially with the embroidery on the different panels there. I'm not opposed to the navy blue, but I don't like the big bow. Just something about the way it's executed and also the fabric that it appears to be. It literally looks like a children's hair bow just got stuck on there. And I do think a lot of that is the fabric choice, but that's the fabric they went with. So that's what I have to judge. And so because of that, 
it looks a little bit more like a doll that someone is playing with. And like the stock photo wasn't supposed to look like that, which, you know, that's fine. Like if you're messing with your dolls and your clip and hair clips on there, you do you. I'm just saying from a design point, it doesn't feel expensive or luxe or collector to me personally. I don't think the rhinestones are helping in this case, even though I want them to. I like sparkle, but I just don't think that that's really helping with the bow. The wrap... Again, like I, I feel so bad because I think part of the reason I don't like this one as much is because I'm comparing it to the Premier Cinderella. But when you compare this wrap to the last one, it's like, okay, well, this one kind of feels uninspired and also the sequins that I tend to not enjoy. I like the embroidery here. It just doesn't feel quite as good. So I feel bad. This is definitely not a terrible doll. She's going to go in good. I just can't possibly put her in perfect because she does feel almost like a slightly more budget version of the Premier version. Alrighty, then that brings us to the Ultimate Princess Celebration doll. And this is a really interesting one to me because as I've said in all of my other videos <laughs> that are like the princess rankings, I did do a whole video on my thoughts on this collection once it like had finished releasing. And I think in that video, if I'm recalling correctly, I was a lot more complimentary towards this Cinderella. But now I'm looking at it and I'm just not really a huge fan. <laughs> Again, she is giving kind of like slightly older vibes which I don't think is bad like she's still beautiful I do like the huge pearl earrings that's super cute and I think the hairstyle is totally fine but now that I'm looking at the outfit I'm like what was past me thinking <laughs> being like oh this is solid I do think the idea like the concept of the silhouette with kind of this pantsuit with the skirt on top is nice I think that that is a silhouette that like could work maybe even for a Cinderella doll just not for this one <laughs> I don't like the like texture and the patterning on her pants I just don't feel like it's super super flattering the seam right down the crotch is like not the best look to me personally I'm just not vibing with that she does have her glass slippers which is cool um the overskirt I have really no problems with at all except maybe it would have been cool to have a proper belt instead of just this little clasp but then looking at the top like the way that the skirt goes around like this this piece is connected to the skirt and the way that it like goes around her bust just feels a little awkward I don't know and then also these little like cap sleeves that are on top of the like mock turtleneck but also the mock turtleneck doesn't go up high enough I don't know everything just feels cut very strangely I think that's probably the best way for me to explain my gripes with this doll is that it just it looks ill-fitting like it looks like a garment that has potential but does not fit the person wearing it the person in this case being the cinderella doll it just it looks very strange i really hate the cap sleeves <laughs> i think that was a weird choice i don't know and then the biggest thing to me too is the color like if i pull this color some of y'all might think that i'm like crazy and also this might not translate super well on the screen i'm only hoping that it does and then i'm gonna sample several other colors from other Cinderella dolls that we've seen so just keep in mind the one closest to the doll is the one that we're currently looking at right I just want to get a few different ones to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about so these top three here are all colors that I've pulled from other Cinderella dolls and I feel like while they are all varying degrees of blue like there's some that are more gray some that are more blue they're all very like cool toned and all very either gray or like properly kind of more pure blue toned Whereas this Cinderella has more of almost a tealish color. And it's not something that I honestly think is super noticeable unless you're doing something like this, where you're directly comparing it to other Cinderella dolls, or even just if you have multiple in your collection, I feel like it might stand out. And it does kind of bother me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so irritated by that, but it just doesn't feel as much like Cinderella's blue to me personally. I don't know, there's a couple of things about this that can save it from the bottom, but it's still gonna go into no thanks. And that brings us to the live action dolls. So I never saw the live action Cinderella, so like, I can't super speak to the accuracy here. Um, we've talked a lot about live action dolls on this channel. I feel like sometimes they do okay. The live action Little Mermaid dolls, for the most part, I thought were really solid when it comes to like translating a real human's face to a doll's face. Others, like the Beauty and the Beast ones, kind of more unfortunate. This I feel like falls somewhere a little bit in the middle. So let's talk about the dress before we talk about the sculpt of the doll itself. I love the bodice. I think this is beautiful. Partially, this is probably just my like butterfly bias coming in because I love butterflies. I think they're so pretty, beautiful motif. I just think this is absolutely lovely. However, the skirt to me, oops, leaves a lot to be desired. 
mostly because I do really remember like the movie posters and like the little bits of like trailers and clips that I had seen from the movie and how just beautiful and flowy and light and airy the skirt was and it doesn't feel like that and I understand that that skirt had tons of layers and was probably extremely expensive to make and so even doing it on a doll scale probably was not realistic but I do just think that this looks less whimsical than I would like for it to look it doesn't quite feel exciting to me I guess is a good way to put it and then we have the face here I don't think that it's horrible I just don't think that the way that they have tried to do this shape really translates well on a doll I don't know the actress I probably should have looked it up, but I didn't. <laughs> I don't know the actress who plays Cinderella. Uh, I'm sure she's absolutely gorgeous. Like from what I'm remembering of the poster, she's absolutely gorgeous. But just when you shrink everything down to a doll scale, I feel like the jaw, let me get a little smaller here, looks very sharp and very angular, almost to the point of being unnatural. Again, that is absolutely nothing to say about the actress herself because things are very different on a human scale. But on a doll scale, it does, it, <laughs> God, this is going to sound so mean, but it almost looks like those Roblox Royale High dolls <laughs> just because the shape is so off for the scale of the doll. I need to be so clear and reiterate yet again, that is not a slight to the actress whatsoever. It's just one of those things where sometimes you have to kind of alter things to fit different scales. And I don't think that this has been altered to go from a human face to a doll face very well. That being said, uh, I think she's going to get to go in okay because she doesn't have the most horrific live action face and I do like parts of the dress. So like there's just enough for me to rank her decently, but yeah. And then we have the live action wedding dress, which again, this one I've never even seen because like I, I don't remember being featured on the posters. So kind of hard for me to judge in terms of accuracy. I will say it seems a little strange having not seen the movie just because I don't really associate Cinderella with flowers. I do think this is a beautiful design. Like, I think this dress would look gorgeous on a different doll. And even on this one, I'm like, because, you know, I'm thinking like the cartoon Cinderella mostly. I, I don't think that this is an ugly doll. I just think it does not remind me of Cinderella. That being said, I do think that the floral placements are quite pretty. I feel like the rhinestones are decently used here. I actually really like the sleeves. I think those are quite nice. I will say <laughs> we need to do a little edit here right quick. I feel like the head is like ever so slightly too big. So we're just gonna very gently select this and do a quick bit of editing here. That might be too small. So again, we have like the shape, which I already, already discussed. But if you look at the head, we're gonna go back and forth a little bit. Am I crazy or does it immediately look just so much better with a slightly smaller head? I don't know, y'all have to let me know in the comments if that's just a me thing, but I do feel like her head like proportionally just looks unnaturally large compared to the doll's body. And once again, this is not about the actress, this is about how the doll has been executed. I think I'm gonna put her in the same tier, I'm gonna put her in okay, because again, like I, I just don't have any reference for the accuracy. I think the dress doesn't really read Cinderella, but it's not an ugly dress, and the face could be worse, so. That seems fair to me. But that brings us to the end of the Cinderella ranking, which is pretty spread out, but honestly, mostly still positive. I mean, by far, most of the dolls are in like the top three tiers. So I guess that's pretty cool. I'm so fascinated by whether <laughs> this trend is going to keep going, because thus far, I feel like I've ranked and raved most, like I've, I've ranked better and raved the most about the characters that I don't actually like, but I think their dolls are really, really well done. So I'm very curious to see if that's going to continue going forward as we talk about more characters that I love. Am I going to dislike the outfits again? Am I going to dislike the dolls again? Only time will tell, but this has just been, this is such an extremely fascinating series for me to do personally. I obviously hope y'all are enjoying as well, but um, yeah, pretty solid ranking for Cinderella here. But yes, guys, that is going to be it for the ranking today. As I said before, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on all of the dolls we discussed today, as well as my ranking and whether you think it's pretty accurate or whether you think it's totally backwards. It's just very interesting to hear how our opinions might differ there. I do have Jasmine slated to be the next princess that I do a ranking for. However, we're going to take like a quick little break from the princesses to do something slightly different that's like slightly more thematic for the Halloween month. So feel free to guess in the comments <laughs> uh, what we're going to be doing instead. But um, there's going to be another ranking video. What day is it? What week is it? 
there's going to be another ranking video for Halloween and then we will resume the princess ranking and we'll be doing Jasmine next. So definitely be looking forward to those, but that's going to be everything for today, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.